as far as television production was concerned, the way uh, I did that was I'd find the properties, put them together, help get it started, let the creative elements work on the properties, and when they were finished with it, sell the properties so that we get the maximum amount of all of it, but leave the creative people more or less do it themselves. Uh, <clears throat> there were a lot of gambles in that originally with Three's company when I came to Thames and tell them we're not going to sell the format, we're going to produce the format. Um, but that means we were going to be responsible for overages if that happened. <coughs> I had some luck in that, in that ABC, uh, Thames Television said, oh, we're not going to do that. We're not going to be responsible for it. So since I didn't have any dollars, I don't know why I said this, but it was, oh, I'll be responsible for it. You know, I didn't know how the hell I was going to get it, but I said, I'll be responsible for it. And that's how I got more or less involved with the total control and the bigger piece of the action from everybody else in the show by being responsible for it in the beginning. The theory behind that was, if I go to the network and say, here's the rights, I end up with 2%. If I go to the network and say, here's the television, I have ownership and that I don't have to give up all but 98 to be in that position. So I ended up in a very good position between the producers on the West Coast and the network controlling the show controlling the rights, so I was in the middle. <laughs>